Yeah. 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 Bathe. Yeah. You still want your god? You won't walk out of here today. And I know that only God's love is real. <laughs> this is God saving me from the shackles of my own family. I'm so grateful for his love. Thank God. Thank God. The more we experience God's practical work, the more truth we learn, the more insight we have. This is God's love. Amen. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. The Bureau gave me this guarantee to confirm that we're not religious. I've already signed. Take a look. If you keep your faith, I will lose my job and then Chi's college plans will be over. You need to commit right now that you'll give up your faith. Then we'll be just fine. I can't commit to giving up my faith. You know, these years, I've believed in God, my health has improved, and I've been happy. I've learned truths and how to be a good person. This is the right path in life. Can you leave me alone? Don't stand in my way, okay? What part of this is confusing? If you keep this up, I will lose my position. That's my livelihood. What will we live on? <gasps> you listen up. I forbid you to keep believing in God. As far as faith goes, I won't give an inch. Ah! Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> faith? <laughs> you still want your God? <laughs> you won't walk out of here today. <laughs> faith? <laughs> You still believe? I'll show you. This will be the end of you. You want faith? Get up. You still believe? I'll ask you one last time. Do you want God? Or do you want this family? Make your choice. I still choose my faith. Then we're getting a divorce. You've beaten me over a dozen times the last couple of years just because I believe in God. And now you want a divorce? You have no conscience. You're totally unreasonable. You're not even human. There's no way for me to stay with you. We're not on the same path. Why is it that I've beaten you so many times? And I still can't keep you in line. Where do you really stand? Will it actually be your faith? Or will it be our home? If you choose God, we're getting divorced. And I won't interfere anymore. Since you suggest divorce, 
Let's do that. We're on two different paths. And we can't live together. Let's get it over with. There you go. Hey, you don't need to move out. I'm hardly ever home. You should stay and take care of Cha Chi. Hello? I got a message. You absolutely have to leave home before 10.30 p.m. tonight. It's not safe. Whatever you do, don't come back. Take care of yourself. And keep reading God's words. And pray to God when you're struggling. I have to stay out of sight. A little while. <laughs> Sister Han, I need help. They're after me. Yeah, yeah, I know. Go we'll stay at Sister Lou's house first, and I'll let the brothers and sisters know they need I to move. I should be going. Okay. Come on, hurry up. Hurry! What are you doing? Yeah. Hey, kid, if your mom comes back, report to us right away. If you don't report something you know, we'll arrest you too. <laughs> We're done here. I have no idea how Chachi is doing. God, please, stay by Chachi's side and give her strength. What'd you win? Yeah. Oh, Two thousand bucks. Nice. What just came out? Got it. You go that way. Where is she? I lost her. Damn. Over there. From the area? Yes, we live here. Have any of you seen the Yang Ching Ching lately? No. We'll definitely report to you if we see her. She's in this unit on the fourth floor. I know. Keep a close watch. Okay. Report to us right away if she comes back. Sure, we'll work closely with you.
Hi, Chachi. Mm -hmm. I need to work overtime this weekend, so I won't be back home. Mm, okay. Who is it? It's me. This is Mom. Open the door. Are you here alone? Has your mom come by? No, my mom's faith is not a crime. How come you're following her? Stupid. The government does not allow it, so her faith is a crime. Stupid brat. Tell us immediately if your mom comes back. If you don't tell us, you'll be breaking the law. And you'll go to prison. Did you hear me? Let's go. You see her, you better tell us. There's trouble. The police are here. Get your thing. Relax, Dorhouse. Hurry. Hurry. Check it in. Over here. What are you doing? Get down! On the what ground! Is this about? Don't move! Why are you storming into a private home? <laughs> Squat down! Someone reported an illegal gathering. Here. Stay here. Make a sound. Hide. Pull back! That was close. We almost got arrested. Let's rest a bit. Yeah. My heart's beating so fast. Sister. Yeah? Why aren't you that scared? Who says I'm not scared? You know my heart's racing just like yours is. You gonna be okay? When everything was going fine, I felt like I had faith. Why am I such a coward as soon as something happens? I guess I'm still lacking faith. 
Everyone is scared at first. But after going through it more and seeing God's guidance and protection, you can gain faith. If God doesn't allow it, the great red dragon can't get you. Yeah. yeah. If God does allow it to happen, put your life on the line and put everything in God's hands, whether you live or die. That's You're it. Right. Whatever God allows, we have to submit and rely on him. Mm -hmm. We cannot complain. That's right. Hey, I know a brother who's been arrested seven times and been sentenced twice. He still believes in God and does his duty. Now that really is true faith. Yeah. Yeah, that really is. We have gained a lot. Yes. Yes. Through this wave of the great red dragon's arrests and persecution, I've seen God's wondrous protection, and my faith has grown. Thanks be, Thanks to, God. be to God. Thanks be to God. God is using it as a service doer, perfecting our faith and love through the hardship it brings. This is God's blessing for us. Oh, yes. Amen. home. Let's just go. Why are you after me? You think you can hide? We will find you wherever you are. You can't run from us, you little brat. Where's your mom? I really don't know. You don't know? <laughs> you don't know? Tell us where she is. <laughs> Will you tell us or not? No, I don't know. We'll see you right there. Xinjing, when will you be back from the co-workers' meeting? Uh, three or four days. Oh. I'm also gonna visit Chachi. Oh, good. <laughs> it's been a couple of years, hasn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, be careful out there. Yeah, yeah, I will. Chachi. Oh, Mom. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, baby. You've lost weight. How's school? Is it stressing you out? No, school's okay. What about sleep? Are you sleeping enough? Mm-hmm. I sleep a lot. Is your dad at home much? Are you cooking any meals? Are you learning to make stuff? Yeah, all the time. It's easy. Don't get sloppy when you're cooking. 
You need to cook nutritiously, okay? Eat more than just ramen. Hmm? Mom, I can take care of myself. So without me there, do you get frightened at night all alone? I'm used to it. Well, now. Have you been... Are you praying to God and reading God's words? <laughs> Just like you. Hey. What happened to your neck? It's not a big deal. Hey, tell me. What's going on? Honey, Chachi, what is it? Huh? I have lymphoma. I'm having surgery on the fourth next month. Tell me. How did this happen to you? The doctor told me it was linked to chronic stress and depression. When you left, the cops in the red armbands kept coming by and intimidating me, demanding to know where you were. And my teachers and classmates all made fun of me. I was so scared at my school and at home. <laughs> there were a lot of times I wanted to jump off the balcony. But I was afraid that if I did jump, I'd never see you again. <laughs> Mom, I'm scared. Chachi. Hey, don't be scared. We have God by our sides. He's our support. No matter what illness we face, we just have to lean on God. He'll take care of it. We can't be scared. We believe in the true God, Almighty God. God's words say, Almighty God is an all-powerful physician to dwell in sickness is to be sick. To dwell in spirit is to be well. Whether we live or die is in his hands. If we pray, he'll help. Hmm? God, 
I'm really struggling. If she really does die, what will I do? I left my family behind to expand for God. He should be protecting us. How could my daughter have cancer? Is God testing my faith? Sister Leong, you still have your daughter on your mind? I just can't stop worrying about her. I don't know what God's will is. How could she have gotten cancer? Knowing she's ill but you can't go take care of her must be painful. Hey, I just thought of a passage of God's words. Mm -hmm. While undergoing trials, it is quite normal for people to be weak or to have negativity within them or to lack clarity on God's will or their path for practice. But in any case, you must have faith in God's work and not deny God just like Job. Although Job was weak and cursed the day of his own birth, he did not deny that all things in human life were bestowed by Jehovah and that Jehovah is also the one to take them all away. No matter how he was tested, he maintained this belief. In your experience, whatever your refinement through God's words might be, what God requires, in brief, is man's faith and love for him. What he perfects by working in this way is people's faith, love, and aspirations. God does the work of perfection that people cannot see or feel. Under such circumstances, your faith is required. Amen. 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 I was just paralyzed when I found out Chachi had cancer. I could hardly do my duty and I had some complaints within my heart. I didn't say anything about it out loud that I'd been working for him so God should protect my family. I was plagued with doubts. Why did my daughter have to get sick? I realized that those complaints meant I was blaming God and rebelling against him. So I saw all my work and sacrifice was just tainted. I was still motivated by being blessed. If it hadn't been for my daughter's cancer, I'd still feel like I was doing well. This trial has um, fully exposed me. Where is my love and my faith, my submission for God? I'm so unreasonable, unconscionable. I'm not worthy of anything. You learned a lesson from your daughter getting sick. This is a good thing. This is God's grace and blessing. It is. I just remembered a passage of God's words. In their belief in God, people seek to obtain future blessings. This is their goal in their faith. Mm -hmm. All people have this intent and hope. But the corruption in their nature must be resolved through trials. Whatever aspects in man are impure, these are exactly the aspects that must be refined. This is God's arrangement. God creates an environment, forcing you to be refined there so that you can know your own corruption. 
Finally, you reach a point where you'd rather die and give up your plans and desires and submit to God's rule and plan. Therefore, if people do not have years of refinement or suffer to some degree, they will not be freed from the bondage of corruption of the flesh in their thoughts and hearts. In whichever aspects you are still bound by Satan, and in whichever aspects you still retain your desires and demands, these are the aspects in which you should suffer. Only through suffering can lessons be learned which means being able to gain truth and understand God's will. In fact, many truths are understood by experiencing painful trials. None can grasp God's will, know His almightiness and wisdom, or appreciate His righteous disposition when in a comfortable environment or favorable circumstances. That would be impossible. Amen. 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 God's words are made clear to me. And his work to save mankind, so practical. Yes, it yes, is. Yes, it is. I thought that I was sacrificing for my faith in God. I was convinced that I was devoted to God. I was earning his approval. But when I had to go on the run, pursued by the great red dragon, I complained about it all. I realized that I was lacking in devotion and submission to God. Mm -hmm. I was only following God for blessings, you know? I was afraid to suffer. I was corrupt and greedy. And I needed judgment and chastisement to be cleansed. Yeah, that's right. If I hadn't gone through that, I never would have known my true measure. I would have focused only on the blessings of the kingdom. That's absolutely unreasonable. Mm -hmm. That experience revealed how beneficial hardships can be for our growth in life. Mm-hmm. It's true what you say. When my daughter became ill, it was God testing me, exposing me. It's for my salvation. It's God's love. I'm grateful for it and Him. Amen. Amen. Let's take a break. I've got some water here. Okay, thank uh -huh. you. You got a letter from home. I thought it might be urgent, so I brought it over. All right. Mom, I have good news. My surgery was really successful. I was really scared the day of the operation. So I prayed to God and asked Him to bless me with a successful surgery, that nothing would go wrong. I didn't feel as scared after I prayed and I gradually fell asleep. When I woke up, the operation was finished. The doctor said it went really well. And I was so happy, I started crying. I know it was God protecting me. I'm so grateful to Him. Don't worry, Mom. I've been recovering really well. So don't lose any sleep. Just focus on doing your duty and repaying God's love. <laughs> 